All right then, gang, so we've seen how we can animate objects onto the page or when a component loads on the page, like so. But we can also animate elements when we hover over them. For example, if I hover over this button, we could then animate that. Now, the way we do this is by using a different attribute, not animate, but while hover. So I'm in the home component and this is the button that we see on the front page. So what I'm going to do is replace this animate attribute right here with a while hover attribute instead. And the rules are the same. We just apply different key value pairs in here to represent what we actually want to animate. So for example, I could say animate the scale to 1.1 to so make it 1.1 times as big. And if I save this and preview, then when I hover over the button, it animates to that new scale property. Awesome, right? Okay, so we can animate more than just one property like we can in these things. So let me first of all go onto a new line so that each property can have its own line purely because the next two properties are quite long and it's gonna go off the page if it's all on one line. So I'm actually gonna copy these from my repo. So the next one is the text shadow. So I'm just applying a text shadow to this button and it's a white glow essentially. And this is to the text, not the button itself. So the text inside. And I'm also gonna do the same for the box shadow, which will add the same kind of white glow to the border of the button. So the text and the border of the button will now have this kind of glow when we hover over it. So if we save that and preview again, now we get the animation of the size and the glow, which is really nice. Awesome. Okay, so let's apply the same kind of animation to the other buttons on the page because we do have a couple more. We have one on this page right here, the next button, and also this order button. So first of all, inside the base component, that's where the next button is. We need to, first of all, do we need to import frame and motion? No, we don't. Okay, so the only thing we need to do is add motion dot to the opening tag and the closing one and then come down here and I'm going to copy all of this stuff, the while hover that we applied to the other button and I'm going to paste it in here as well. So if we save that and go back a page, we'll try this out and now this works as well. Awesome. So now we just need to do this one on the toppings component. So let's go to that. We need to import motion from frame and motion at the top. Remember to do that first, then come to the button and add in motion dot to the opening and closing tags, and then just paste in while hover again, and this should work. Awesome. Cool. So let's also add while hover to something else. And the things I want to apply it to are these things right here. So we have this list and also this list of items and when we hover over these i'd like them to increase in size so we'll animate the scale and also the color i'd like to animate them to a yellow color so let's start with the toppings one since we're in that file and i'm going to go up to the toppings right here this is where we output them and i need to first of all add motion dot to the start of the li because that's what we're going to animate when we hover over it and then inside here i'm going to say while hover is equal to an object. Now I want to animate the scale. So I'm going to say that that's going to be 1.3. So 1.3 times as big. And also the color is going to go to a yellow color. And the hash code for that is hash F8 E112. So if I save this and preview, then we hover over these and yeah, they go yellow and yeah, they get bigger, but they're also kind of scooting to the left. And that's to do with the origin of the transform of the scale. Now, for us not to move these to the left, we need to set the origin of the X coordinate so that it animates relative to its initial left position. So to do that, we're going to say origin X and that's going to be zero. Now it's going to be animating respective to this origin. So if we save it and preview now, then we can see now it no longer goes to the left. Awesome. So that's looking pretty good, but I also want to add on a transition property. And I'm going to say that the type is going to be spring and I'm going to improve or rather increase the stiffness to 300. So it's really quite springy. So save that and now, okay, that's not looking great. 
and that's because we made a typo right here. It should be type and not type. So save that again and preview. Okay, now we get this nice springy effect. Awesome. So let's also apply this to the other list, which is on the base component right here. So motion.li and also motion.li. And then underneath, let's just paste this dude right in. Scoot it in, save it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, if we go back now to the base selection, yep, this has the same animation. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That's how we can use the while hover attribute to animate properties when we hover over elements. Next up, we're going to talk about variants.